right, so uh, here's our typical morning breakfast out here. We got some scrambled eggs with peppers and onions, crispy bacon, hot coffee. In the fire there, we're cooking up some bannock for the day. A little bit of a late start this morning. We always say that we're gonna get up early and get moving and it doesn't ever seem to happen. We have a couple of longer portages towards the end of the day uh, on our way into Nelly Lake, but I don't think it'll be too difficult. Heading west on our way to Nelly Lake. Here's the landing on the Van Winkle side for the 95 meter. And it is pretty steep. Took the boat across already and we're making our second trip now. Kilometer portage from Leech Lake into Murray. Well, we made it to Murray Lake, and this is really pretty. This really wasn't too bad of a portage. Went really quickly, it was all relatively flat. Some tricky footing with some rocks and roots in a couple spots, and now we gotta go climb that. All right, well, we're at the beginning of the notch. This is not gonna be fun. Uh, we're basically climbing over a mountain range. So, here we go. Well, this portage is no joke. Have to take several breaks already. Hopefully we'll get over the hump here shortly and start heading downhill. Sure is a pretty place to die. Ooh, we made it. It's looking Ooh. clear already. It is, yeah. I thought we were gonna go back downhill. Yeah. Back up in the Lakash. First little bay in Nelly. All right, well, we made it to camp, uh, the one back in the cove. It's home for the night. And the good thing is, we got a pretty excellent view. It's very cold. Ooh, it's cold. Anthony and I have over here to this big slabby face. We're gonna do a little free soloing here. See if there's a cool view from the top. 
There we go, Nelly Lake free solo up the slab here. <laughs> Hell of a view. Wow. That was a lot of fun. Chicken teriyaki turned out a little bit more like soup than we intended, but it's still really good. Woken up to an overcast and rainy day. We knew we would get one eventually. We got pretty lucky so far on this trip. We have a little bit of travel to do today. It's just kind of a drizzle right now, no thunder or lightning, so that's good at least. Guess we'll see how today goes. Getting some pancakes cooked this morning. Alex has got our coffee going there. We got some crispy bacon. We're eating well out here. We might have gotten really, really lucky here. That dark clouds have all moved off that way, and it looks like Things are breaking up over here, so we'll see. We'll see what the rest of the day looks like, but for now at least it's nice and sunny. Yeah. Getting started on the 2400. Hopefully it'll be more Algonquin-like in Killarney Lake. Faux, Faux, Lakes. Pretty cool, man. All right, well, we made it to Helen Lake. Really nice lake. This would be a nice one to stay on, for sure. Which is like a smaller part of it. We just finished up the 60 meter portage into Low Lake. Really pretty little stretch of rocks here that we went across. Really clean too. I mean, they got lichen higher up on them, but down here at the water level, they're like almost bleached. Stopping for a little snack break here. After our last of these shorter portages, we're now on the north slash east channel of uh, McGregor Bay.
getting pretty windy and choppy. We've stopped on an island. Walking up here to the high point to scope out the next little section and see how windy and nasty it is. There's bear poop up here. That could work. Well, we're taking a little break here along the uh, East Channel in McGregor Bay. We got some power boaters going through. Taking a little rest break here, getting some water filtered and uh, eating some food. Seems like the wind is calming down maybe just a little bit. Keep pushing and see how far we can get before it gets unreasonable. That we may try to wait until this evening uh, to uh, push it on into Bay Fin. We'll see. Bay in the East Channel, and it is just beautiful out here. We just found a little rest point here behind this wall where the wind is blowing and we got some shade. Take a little rest here and get some water before we proceed. Made it to the unofficial 900 meter portage here from McGregor Bay in Bay Finn. It is beautiful out here. Cannot believe how much you can see out in front of us right now. This camera's not gonna do it justice whatsoever, but this is pretty amazing. It's definitely not an easy paddle to get here, but we're here now. Well, we made it on to Bay Finn. Luckily, now we're turning back and heading east, so the wind is all gonna go with us. We're gonna stay close to this shore. All this big swell, I don't feel good about crossing this thing. It's 7.30, but we made it. We're at a campsite back here in the channel on Bay Finn. This is a designated campsite for the park here. Uh, we are not booked to be here, but nobody is on either this site or that one over there. Uh, if somebody does show up later, they will have an open site back here. And if two people show up, I guess we'll have to move. It's a really nice one. It's kind of small, not a ton of open area, but heck of a view. It's been a long ass day. It's 8.30 and we're just now eating dinner. Beef stroganoff tonight. Got beef, mushrooms, onions, noodles. Alex got us some garlic and cheese in there. And uh, we're all agreeing that it doesn't really matter what we're eating. This is one of the best meals so far. <laughs> Can you guys be quiet for just one second. I want to see if he's going to do that. <laughs> Well, it's been a really, really long day out here, but uh, everything we went through was just absolutely beautiful today. I wish we actually could have spent a little bit more time in it, but it was still really nice. Um, we covered well over 20 kilometers today, so uh, luckily that means that tomorrow will be slightly shorter for us. And I can't tell you how happy I am that one of these campsites was open and we were able to come in here and spend the night. <laughs>